The overall goal of this procedure is to detect GLUT4 translocation to the plasma membrane of mammalian cells in response to insulin exposure. Serum-starved myoblasts, which possess only intravesicular GLUT4 protein, are first plated in a 24-well culture dish. Antibody against an external epitope of GLUT4 pre-incubated with a fluorophore conjugated secondary antibody is then added to the cells, followed by insulin. Engagement of the insulin receptors at the surface of the cells results in translocation of GLUT4 to the plasma membrane. Surface GLUT4 is then recognized by antibodies in the medium. At this point, the cells can be fixed and the intensity of fluorescent staining measured by flow cytometry. This method can be used to study GLUT4 translocation and glucose metabolism but also can be applied to other systems such as NK cell degranulation through exposure of CD107A at the membrane. For this procedure, it is important to use cells that are actively growing or 60-80% confluent and have been serum starved overnight. After harvesting the cells by trypsinization, wash and resuspend them in regular growth medium at 200,000 cells per milliliter. Plate the cells in a 24 well plate at 0.1 million per 500 microliters per well. Then incubate the cells for one hour at 37 degrees Celsius to allow cells to recover from trypsinization. In the meantime, Mix the primary anti-glute for antibodies.